Yo, what's going on, sexy simulator squad? Today we're here doing a ranked one v one. It's try hard. Ah, Thursday. So that's what we're gonna do. Um, I'm gonna play Surter. By the way, I said this before. My Hello Fresh sponsor can actually be completed a little bit more. It was capped at forty, but is now capped at sixty. So as you see, we need ten more people. If ten more people would Please sign up for me. I'll put a link in the description and in the um in the description and in the pinned comments. It would help me a lot if you did that. Just saying. Like a lot a lot, so I would appreciate it. Um let us build items. Do that and that, and then we do Honestly, I might need a beads. If I don't go beads, I'm just going to get clapped by executes and fall behind. I need to start banning Ao Kuang. Ao Kuang is too strong. Ao Kuang too strong. Too strong Ao Kuang. You think I can do red buff in time? By the way, there's some comments that clearly do not understand how Surtur 1 works. Um, you don't need the last hit with his 1 to get the, um... Oh, hello. You don't need to actually last hit with his 1 to get... What is it called? the stack yeah 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 you tried you tried out kwong you tried to be aggressive but alas i am a surtur but you don't need to get the last hit with the thing so the way that your one works on surtur is oh my god i can't actually hear myself thinking down a little bit um when you use your one it puts a three second dot on them and if they die during the time of that dot you get your stack of your one so you don't actually have to last hit with it um i was by the way under the impression you needed to last hit also so i don't know if they changed it during pts or not or maybe everyone's just used to nasus but um Wow, you are dead. Holy. Boom. Sometimes you just gotta, you know what I mean? Sometimes you just gotta. All right. Two kills. Easy frags. By the way, I'm playing Golden Skin Surtur because he's amazing. I have lost two games on Surtur, unfortunately. One to an Ao Kuang. And, uh, which I don't think I could have won, by the way. That game, I just got dookie down. I didn't buy beads early. Eh. I didn't buy beads early. And then, uh, he just executed me three times in the first, you know, before I was level 12. And then I lost because I was too far behind. Although I did put up a fight. It was pretty close. It was pretty close. Look at my damage output though, dude. Can I have that? That definitely was not worth running in the tower to pick up, but what are you doing? Oh man. The Bancrofts. I used my thingy too. Oh, also, there was a question I got asked if um if what is it called? My auto attack chain. That's what it's called. If your auto attack chain could be manipulated. So your one is applied on your AOE auto attack. I tried it. It doesn't work. I'll do it again for you right here. If you want. Do you activate? Boom. Boom. And then AOE. It only applies the tick damage to one of them. So. Unfortunately. Doesn't work that way. Hello. And now you're dead. Boom! 
He did get my red buff though, because he beats my knockup. Which is a little bit annoying. But it's also understandable. If you're gonna die, you might as well get something for it, right? <clears throat> I like maxing my one. I know there's a lot of people in the comments section that were telling me, Sam, why the actual F are you maxing your one? That's stupid and you're stupid. Um, so I know your one, the bonus damage on your one is increased by the stack. So you don't really necessarily need to level your ability up to stack it and get more damage. I know that. But what I also know is that um, it doesn't really matter because you're never going to get a stack because minions get tankier. Did you know that? Did you know that over time, minions get a little bit tankier and makes it a little bit tougher for, like, you know, things to happen? <clears throat> so it's really hard to... If you're not leveling the one, it's really hard to get the extra stacks on it to get the extra damage. Not to mention, by the way, not to mention uh, that it does 70, for me, 77 damage per tick right now like because i'm leveling it so like yes how many stacks do i have 10 so i'm adding an extra 30 damage yes the bonus damage is 60 right now <laughs> but it's 60 damage once right like 60 initial damage once and leveling it up means you punch them once and they take 77 damage three times so like it, it's just worth it and by the way the cooldown gets lowered when you level it up none of his other abilities the cooldown gets lowered when he levels up so or when you level it the ability up so it's better to level the one to max the one get the cooldown as low as you can so you can start stacking it more often um and just overall have a better surter experience i am I do have a master's border on Surter. I know it's not showing because I don't think it's updated yet. But um, literally on patch day, I played 14 games of Surter. And um, I only lost one of them. I lost one yesterday, which was unfortunate, but that's okay. Now, I probably will not win this fight without my one. All right, snag a stack on it and go get our pestilence. Um, also, another thing about the, that Surtur video that I uploaded, which, by the way, is completely true. It is, Surtur is super OP. He's very, very strong. Um, but I did mess up. You guys are right. I did overcap my cooldown a lot because I forgot that... Um, I forgot that warriors get 10% cooldown just by default by the time they're level 20. Like, I, if you don't know, in season 10, uh, or the season of monsters is what they're calling it. But in season 10, they made it so each class gets their own special little buff. And a warrior's special little buff is the fact that um hold on i'm boxing the cockamamie off this guy right now you ever seen a guy outbox an uh an out kong with bancrofts this guy this guy be using bancrofts and i am sitting here outboxing pop you're dead not dead oh now you're dead Whatever, I'm going to red buff. He's not going to heal that much, right? And then come and kill me? That'd be cringe. Oh, lordy, he is. <laughs> oh, lordy, he is. Oh, I didn't even need the beads. He died. He died to me deactivating my three. I didn't even need the beads. Damn it, man. Wasted beads, wasted beads. That's okay, though. That's okay, though. 
Uh, what's my second item or my next item? I kind of want it to be Hydra's. I also would not mind it being a beat stick, if I'm completely honest. Because a beat stick sounds like it'll be a nice little, little savior for me. You know what I mean? Like, I already got the Pestilence. But, that, but Hydra's, man. I want a bonk hard. I'm Hydra'sing. Also, fun fact, and I'll show you right now, actually. Um, if you use your three and cancel it, you get a Hydra's proc. Which doesn't happen on most characters that have that kind of an ability. Um, but it happens on his because it has a cooldown. On, like, Pele's or something. So, um, he actually does get a Hydra's proc from every single ability in his kit. Which is super sick. I have also come to terms with the fact that I believe wholeheartedly Aussie is goaded on this character. Like a genuine Goats McGee. Alright, you're dead, by the way. I've decided. You know what would be crazy? It would be insane if you could activate his one. Um, if you could activate his one while he was in the air. You know how you can do that with like Arachne Alt or something? So that right when you land, you can auto attack your enhanced auto. By the way, you always use your one on towers. Not only because you have Hydras, but because it summons the little minion. And that minion is going to help you take power a little bit quicker. Not like too quick, but a little bit quicker. You think I'm scared of you, but I don't think you know what fear is. Oh, I can be executed, by the way. Oh, no, I can. He just halted me. I'm chilling. Isn't it cute? Isn't it cute when some of the best boxers in the game think they can outbox me? The new best boxer in the game? So funny. Uh, I'm going to die here, by the way. <laughs> I'm greeting the cockamamie off this buff. Oh. He blinked, so I'm ulting out. Killing the minion wave and continuing my, my runaway. Oh. He's still coming. <clears throat> oh shit Oh, I, I pressed two instead of blink like a bozo. I was going to blink to him and then I just fucking threw my rock at the air. <laughs> Oops. 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 All right. Beat stick. All right. We are vibing, dude. We are vibing. Your middle tower is under attack. And I got 26 stacks on my one. Pretty good. <clears throat> Make that 28. <clears throat> Hello, Al Kwong. Haver of many quick abilities. By the way, uh, when you see me deactivate my one, it's because I'm using my auto attack chain to increase my damage. So, like I said, Hydra's and Surter's three work together after you deactivate the three. Not when you activate it, when you deactivate it. So, what that means is you get to the big auto attack in your chain, and then you deactivate your three, 
causing your big auto attack in your chain to actually be a Hydra's auto attack. So that's that's what we're currently dealing with. He actually can't fight me at all, by the way. Like there, there's no universe and where he can fight me right now. <clears throat> I hope I didn't just lose red by backing like that. That would be really tragic. Perfect. Where'd he go? Where'd the little devil go? Oh, he just back. All right. You'll see how easy. Oh, he just beats. He's actually dead. Oh, blink. Okay. Yeah, and then you'll just you'll see how easy it is to take objectives with this guy too because because your ultimate actually does drop those 5 or 6, how many is it? Healing damage spawning fiery imps. I don't know. It, it doesn't tell me how much how many exact imps there are, but it drops around 5 to 6 imps which tank the tower for you. By the way, they just tank it like that. It's like if you Bakasura alt, but your Bakasura minions took more than one Phoenix shot each. They take three Phoenix shots each. So I have 18 Phoenix shots of protection when I alt. Which is pretty dumb. It's pretty stupid. And fun fact, like um like a Bastet minion or even a Bakasura minion. If your minion attacks the enemy, like if my minion punched out Kwong like it just did, under the tower, that would prioritize the tower would prioritize the minion instead of me. Like, do you see that damage? Do you see that burst? And you're telling me, you're telling me that he's not op 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 op. Incorrect. I'm sorry incorrect he's too strong i like i lost a game to out kwong i learned and i won it's actually insane by the way just to prove that i am a surter main because the borders for some reason aren't working yet yeah there's no entries on them yet uh history duel i'm 13 and 2 so yeah i played 14 games I've only lost two. I lost this Hercules one because I didn't respect him. And uh, I didn't go defense second. And then he did go defense second. And he upgraded his med for instant cooldowns. And he just giga slapped me like three kills in two minutes. And then the other loss was because, like I said, I didn't go beads until I was level 12. And I had already lost at that point. But as you can see, it was three to six. I was zero and six. So I got three kills. And then he won because I couldn't finish him fast enough while he killed my Titan. But, um... Yeah. Either way, I'll see you guys in game two. I like starter. Hola, dual enjoyers. Game two. We're out, Kwong. Easy peasy. Um, I'm going to go... What's this skin? I bought this skin for 1,200 gems and it didn't equip it. Ah, that's so annoying. <laughs> Damn it, man. Why must my life be like this? Why, oh, why? Oh, well. Oh, well, I suppose. Damn it, that makes me upset. <laughs> I'm pissed. <laughs> All right, whatever. I'm not going beads because I assume that once I do get beads, he just dies. 
Hello? Alright, well, I won that trade. It also cost all of my mana, but I won the trade. Okay. What the hell? Very this two did 367 damage to me? Your middle tower. Man. Morgan the fuck is such a dumb god. And yet I never ban her and never respect the person playing her. And then I always die. And then, and then I always have to make a comeback against her, which is even worse than even just normally playing against her. Bad decision. I'm dumb. You guys should do as I say and not as I do. Probably ban Morgan. Or play her. But if you're against me, don't play her. Because I don't enjoy fighting her. Okay. Once my three starts doing some damage, I'll be fine. Bro, look at how annoying this god is. Hmm. Almost. If I had more mana, I could have executed. Ow. The fact that that hit me from that distance is kind of nuts. You can probably hit me again, can't you? Alright, we'll go Telkines. And this. Um, yeah, I'm down 400 gold. Not good. I need to make sure that I keep up in XP, though. If I keep up in XP, I'll be fine. Probably. But, uh, it is, it is not easy keeping up an XP. Hello? Jesus Christ, he does so much damage. Alright, he's dead. Nice. Very good. Very, very good for me. He went greedy and got meditation instead of beads. And it worked for me. Unfortunately, I thought this red buff was spawning sooner and it's not. So now I just lose the red buff. But in return to losing the red buff, I would get the XP camps, I guess. So whatever. We take what we can get around these parts. All right. Uh, I think I want to go Genji's here. Normally, I would go another attack item. But uh, I think Genji's here is going to be more important because I don't have beads. And if I get in a situation where there's a kill opportunity, I would like to actually have it. So... So we're going to go defense here. Also... I really do enjoy, um, hello. I do enjoy, um, what is it called? Wow, you just get clobbered, huh? Dude, why do you not have bees? Genuine question. You would have slapped me 14 different ways till Sunday right now. If you just couldn't be executed. 
I'm only doing this because I want the XP and the gold, by the way. 200 XP, 100 gold. That's not bad for just like a random objective on the map you can grab. Protection is wise. Not bad at all. Your middle tower is under attack. Hmm. Delicious. Oh, you messed up. You, sir, seem to forget. You, sir, you seem to forget that I have uh, this thing. Whatever this thing is called. Bull Demon. I have that thing. So it doesn't matter if you run to your tower because I'm completely safe diving it. I want minions to get in tower range. I don't think he can kill me. I just wanted minions to get into tower range so that I could get the tower. There's no world in where he uh he kills me here. Thankfully. Red buff is spawning really soon. It looks like he's just gonna back because he can't deal with my pressure. And I can go get my beads now, which should just solidify this game if I'm honest. The beginning was a little rough. The Morgan LaFuck really, uh, really outbursted me and just made me regret not banning her. But thankfully, I'm also an overpowered mage. So. Dude, my damage is so high. Telkines is such a good item. For uh, auto attack mages. In case you're wondering why I'm not backing. There's no real need to yet. Because. I mean simply put. There's no objective on the map. So if I'm just going around. Like farming. I, I can't get. I can't get his phoenix without bull demon. Let's just be honest right. So. Because I know that. The best like line that I could take in terms of getting ahead is going around and using that pressure that I currently have to out farm him to a 1000 gold lead and two levels. Now I go back buy an entire item and keep up my aggression because well, entire item spikes are not normal and they're very strong. And now you die. There's the beads. Coming in handy like I knew they would. Alright. <clears throat> now I think I just go wait at Bull Demon. It's spawning right now. It's blinking, so. Um, I think he's going Divine, but I'm not really healing that much, am I? I think I'm just doing so much damage right now. It's not necessarily the healing. Hello. Alright, so the way that I get my minions into this Phoenix is... Uh, well, I guess he's going to just circle around. Which is fine, I guess. I don't need minions. I just wanted them. But... He just hit in a corner and waited for me to run past. Which is fine. He does his thing, I'll do mine. You clear a wave, I'll clear a phoenix and a wave. Alright, and then you go back, and I run to red buff. I do think I want a hastened ring. Only because... Yeah, I mean, only because when he alts, he's so fast.
Oh, I altered him and my sound went off, but... Dude, this character. Ao Kuang's burst is just second to none. Maybe I'll play Morgan Le Fay now. Maybe I'll just, this video will just be me starting with Surtur and then playing whatever my enemy plays <laughs> for an entire hour. I know people have actually requested videos like this, so I don't know. All right, I'll see you guys in game three. All right, boys, game number three. This time I'm playing Morgan Le Fay because uh, the last game they played Morgan Le Fay. So I'm just going to keep it rolling. Oh, dragon again. Interesting. Um, I think you just start like this, right? Yes. And then you go ball shard. It burns. And I see a lot of people go med on her. I like it. Yes. I will claim what is ours. Med or shell? I'm just going to go shell. And then level three, everyone seems to do one point in everything. All right, let's see. Yeah, he's like half dead already. Oh my God. This character's busted. Dude, look at that wave clear, though. Look at that wave clear, dude. <coughs> and the poke. This character's nuts. No wonder so many people play her. I don't even want red buff, by the way. Yeah, he's definitely backing. There's no way he's going to his blue buff. I'm gonna push that whole wave in so that he has to go for the wave. That gives me room to go for my blue buff and then maybe in, uh, invade the blue, his blue. Or he's just going to ignore the gold from the wave and go straight to his blue buff. That's a weird play. But it is a play, I guess. You still get the XP, so it makes sense. But losing all that gold is kind of crazy. <gasps> Look at that damage, man. Oh, lucky. Lucky, lucky, lucky. It's crazy that he, uh, that shell lasted just long enough to tank that second shot. Cause if it didn't, he'd be dead right now. I want to be strong. I want to be feared. All right. He's got golden blade. He's just going to run away and like circle and shit all game. So, um, it's going to come down to how I play this. I think is this guy never has fun. He's just a backdoor boy. Jesus. Look at that. He ulted. And I outtraded him that hard. I guess I'll go get tier one breastplate. 
There's nothing really on the map that I want. I mean, uh, it is the three minute mark, so the treasure chest have spawned. Not here. Is it here? No. So the next person who gets the XP camps are going to get the treasure chests too. Unfortunately. I don't know if that'll be me. I'm going to max the two. I heard the two is just goaded. Damn. Unfort, not enough to kill. I want this blue buff. Oh, you know what's better than blue buff, though? Both treasure chests and an XP camp. It's just better. It's just better. Having no cooldown sucks, by the way. This, I just got to deal with it for now, I guess. Your middle tower is under attack. So I'm pretty sure, like I said, I don't, you know, play Morgan enough to really know, but I am pretty sure that um, as the Morgan, you go max cooldown and like tablet. I'm pretty sure. There's no way he's doing Bull Demon, right? Okay, I was going to say, if he's doing Bull Demon right now, that's crazy. Okay. You don't win these fights. Why are you trying? Why are you trying? Grab this and this. I will need a beads this game, and I will want to upgrade it for the cooldown, obviously. But I think my next item is going to be a poly. I'm auto attacking quite often, so poly will be good for me. He's doing XP camp. Good. Um, I really don't know if I get this. Oh, I do. Nice. I might get a shell here too, honestly. Nice. So we got that whole wave pushed into the tower. Oh, we got the XP camp. Cringe. I can get tier 2 poly here. He actually went Golden Blade, by the way. I don't know why exactly, but he did. I'm going to grab poly instead of claw shard. Or, I'm sorry, beads instead of claw shard. And I'll switch those around. And even though nothing has really happened, his tower is half dead. And uh, I'm 500 gold up. So we're... Slowly, slowly getting something of a lead. You don't do enough damage to scare me.
I missed. I hate that I cannot hurt him. Nice, I got it. I guess he thought I wasn't going to chase him. I'm going to dive. Wow, I, actually, there's nothing I can win off that. But I can clear. Nice. He's chasing me. <laughs> All right. Uh, I do kind of want to go tablet, by the way, but I'm not going to yet. Oh, shit. I just bought tier one of that. I wanted to buy soul gem there. Damn, he got that? That's crazy. I do a lot of damage though, Jesus Christ. No, oh, giving me red. All right. I would not have expected him to give me red. I guess I'll go back and get... I guess I am going tablet. I mean... It's honestly, no Soul Reaver is not bad. That doesn't make it any less fun to watch. I'm going to use my 3 for movement speed. Soul Reaver is not bad, especially because he's only 3 items in 2100 HP right now, but... I don't know. Oh, he's doing my blue. What the hell, man? Nice. All right, well, he did my blue, but he died for it. Now, I'm going to do Bull Demon and not die for it. Perfect. And I have Polly, so this goes relatively quick. I mean, obviously, I have cooldowns too, so it's not that quick, but kind of quick. And I can back before... I fight, and I guess I'll go Soul Reaver. I mean, honestly, Tablet gives me HP, which might be good. Soul Reaver is more of an immediate push, though. And since I just I got Bull Demon, my immediate push is is mandatory. Like I have to push this, so I'm going. I'm gonna go Soul Reaver here. Um. I have a little bit of life steal, so this should be fine. And I have Polly, so even if minions don't show up, I should be able to take this fairly easily. He definitely forgot that I had Polly. The way he's playing. We're proceeding to phase two. Your team has destroyed a middle enemy tower. Okay. Well, there's his, uh, his shell. That's really good for me. Oh, God. How did you get there in time? Did he buy blink or something? Genuinely don't know how he got to me in time there. Oh, I missed. Oh, that hit me. Okay, I'm dead. Bummer. Feet. 
Damn. I think I might have just lost my Phoenix, actually, because Minion Wave is right there. I'm only 20% cooldown. I'm going to go Chronos Pendant. Mm, did I lose Phoenix? I don't know. No, I definitely didn't. Definitely didn't. That was bad, though. The Sora are doing 170. I mean, it's good, but it's not like good. You know what I mean? Obviously, Tablet would be better. I just don't think that I could stack it quick enough. Oh, he's here. Yeah, running all the way away. I need another 200 gold for Chronos Pendant. That helps. Obviously, this will help. And there we go, 200 gold. That should help a lot, honestly. Going from 20% to 40%, he's going Crusher right now, which means he's going ability based. I kind of feel like a Bancroft's Claw would be good for my last item here. And you're going to dash on me, huh? Okay. He's backing. Interesting. An interesting back. Okay. I don't know what uh what item I want right now. So I'm just gonna go beads. I'm gonna upgrade beads. Last item, I think I kinda wanna divine. Cause you know, he's still Ama. Which still does heal a decent amount. Doesn't heal a lot. Oh, I should not have done that. Oh, maybe you shouldn't have, actually. Yeah, you definitely should not have. I thought that was my misplay. That was definitely your misplay. <laughs> I forgot what character I was playing. You tried to hurt me. And my character doesn't take damage. And if she does, she dishes it back just, just a bit better. All right, and I am going to be greedy and go for the red buff too. I'm going to clear the wave. Minions got in there. Perfect. We're proceeding to phase two. All right. So Phoenix down. <clears throat> I'm going to go back. I'm going to go my divine. I want to be strong. I'm feeling really good now. I did beads for cooldown reduction there. I did beads for CDR there, which isn't ideal, but I have my alt pretty much all the time. 
So my ult is only a 54 second cooldown. It's beautiful. Okay, I don't know why my ult didn't go off. That's pretty sucky, to be honest. I did alt. I don't know. Weird. Uh, he can't get anything off of that, I'm pretty sure. I mean, he gets blue buff, I guess. But minions? Maybe he can. Hmm. Oh my god, yes he can. Wow. don't like this. I really don't like this. Okay, predicted. Ozo. Okay, that one felt really good. Nice, boys! GG! That's actually a really good win for me because I'm not confident in my abilities with Morgan Le Fay. And uh, we did it anyways. Which is really good. I did beads for cooldown for my 3 to come up. And if my 3 didn't kill, I would have lost the game. So, a bit of a risky play, but it ended up working out. And, um... Yeah. Nice. That feels good. All right. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this Try Hard Thursday. If you did, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, y'all, peace.